With December being warmer than usual and less snowy, I'll be taking a look at what you could expect as we head into January. Will we finally be getting in on some snow and some frigid air? Taking a look at all that coming up in this video. Howdy y'all and welcome. We're going to take a look at the 500 millibar high on the map to determine what you could expect as we head into January. Now this is going to be a top down approach. This determines our troughing and ridging patterns. We're looking at the northern hemisphere here. As we can see today, we are dealing with a major trough that's been setting up across the southeastern part of the country, bringing some really frigid air and a lot of rain, and even some blizzard-like conditions out in the central part of the country on Christmas. And watch this ridge right here. It's going to play a role in our future weather patterns. And look over here in the North Atlantic. So you can see we're going to be in a little ridging pattern amongst the northern part of the country. And as we take a look over here, we're dealing with a little low pressure system. Y'all may wonder, how does the North Atlantic affect? our weather patterns well we can see here on this illustration we can see the NAO temperature patterns we can see the negative and positive trends we can see a positive trend brings a little low pressure system over here by Greenland which brings warmer temperatures to much of the country while a negative NAO brings a high pressure over here by Greenland and some colder temperatures amongst much of the country so we've been in sort of a, a weaker positive phase in december that's why we've been warmer than average and we've had sort of a snowless winter so far as we can see we're currently in that negative phase as of right now as we take a look back at the models here we can see that it's going to start to trend towards a negative nao which is as you can see right here it's going to start to bring some really frigid air to much of the western part of the country which will result in some colder air amongst the rest of the countries we had into February, which could also mean a polar vortex. And to take a look at this, take a look at what we call the sudden stratospheric warming. And y'all may wonder how that plays a role in our polar vortex. And basically there's, there's two layers of our polar vortex, the stratospheric layer and the tropospheric layer. The tropospheric layer is what we feel here at the surface. The stratospheric layer is of course above that. So what we don't we don't feel that but the stratospheric layer affects the tropospheric layer in many ways and we take a look at this illustration here we can see once warm air starts to push further towards the north it touches that polar vortex polar vortex starts to sag further towards the south and we get on, a, on that colder air but during a positive nao cold air is contained up here in the northern hemisphere which means we don't get down on the polar vortex that's why we haven't had a polar vortex yet which I think we will as we head into January. Now, anything can and will change. My prediction is we will possibly see a polar vortex. And we had this back in 2019 and 2021, where we had a major cold snap that came through amongst the upper Midwest right around that period. But as we take a look at the 50 millibar high anomaly map for the stratosphere, we can see warm air starting to funnel its way towards the north, starting to touch the polar regions. It's going to start to sag that cold air further towards the south and we might get in on this polar vortex. So I mean, please prepare for a polar vortex potentially this month as it might be a colder month than what December is. Now let's take a look at what kind of temperatures you could expect. We're going to take a look at the above and below average temperature trends. And we're going to zoom in here on the United States. So we can see we're going to be below average amongst the southeastern part of the country. While the rest of the country is going to be above average. This is going to change as we head further into January. We can see the western part of the country is going to be getting in on this frigid air while the rest of the country is going to be sort of above average as we head into February. Take a look at the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook on the Climate Prediction Center. We can see that much of the western part of the country down into Louisiana is going to be below average while the rest of the country is going to be near normal to above average. We take a look at the monthly temperature outlook by the Climate Prediction Center. This was issued on the first day of winter. We can see much of the country is going to be near normal to above average average and this is all due to that major ridge that's going to be setting up bringing warm air to the poles which is going to result in what we think is going to be really frigid air it's going to be setting in amongst the much of the country which could result in a polar vortex now we obviously got to take a look at what kind of precipitation we're going to be expecting above or below average so as we take a look at the precipitation anomalies for what we could expect this month we can see that we're going to be in a little drying period Amongst the eastern part of the countries we head into January, really much of the country is going to be dry, to be honest. Except for down here by Texas and Louisiana. That's going to obviously change. 
we head further into January, we can see much of the southeast and out west is going to be above average. And it looks like much of the country is going to be near normal to above average, except for out west. Y'all going to be below average. And if we could take a look at what the Climate Prediction Center is going to be saying the next 8 to 14 days, as far as precipitation goes, it looks like much of the country is going to be getting in on above average average precipitation except for up here in northern alaska whereas i was showing earlier that a major ridge is going to be setting up up there which is going to be obviously bringing a polar vortex down here take a look at the monthly precipitation outlook now this hasn't been updated since the 21st but if this holds true it looks like the beginning of the month it's going to be below average amongst uh, the upper midwest wealth southeast and the southwestern part of the country up into washington is going to be above average looking like it's going to be a wet and sort of cold january now as we could take a look at the seasonal snowfall analysis we could see we're really in a big old snow drought out here on the eastern part of the country we've been getting in a lot of snow out west but really it's sort of been a below average season so far if we could take a look at the climate forecast system model this is probably the lowest resolution model you can go but Let's take a look at it for kicks and giggles. As we can see today, we're dealing with a lot of rainfall out west and a lot of snowfall up here in the northeast as the storm system that brought a blizzard to the central part of the country and some really soggy conditions to the eastern part of the country on Christmas. It's going to be getting out of here. It's going to be dry for much of the country up until we get into the 4th where it looks like a big snowstorm is going to be setting up amongst the eastern part of the country. And I will have a video up later next week possibly Tuesday or Wednesday, breaking down this system right here that could bring some snowfall to the upper Midwest. There's also going to be some snowfall out west as well. So make sure you are subscribed down below so you never miss an upload because here at Williams Weather, we make weather forecasting fun and informative. And it looks like after we get past that, it's going to be some clipper. It's going to bring some snow amongst the Appalachians. And another big snowstorm. So we head into the 10th. So it looks like we could be coming in on a lot of snowstorms as we head into January. You can see, especially by the time we head into the 22nd. Now this is almost 600 hours out. Do you take this with a grain of salt? This won't even happen. But if it does, I mean, it looks like there could be a big snowstorm by then. Some icing down here in Kentucky. I hope this does happen, but it probably won't, which is a bummer. As we head towards the end of the month, it looks like it's going to start to dry out. Like effect snow up here in the northeast by the end of the month. And yet another snowstorm by the 31st. So it looks like a lot of snow is going to be occurring between now and the end of January. So it's looking like January is setting up to be a wet and cold month with the potential for a polar vortex setting in later into the month. So if you are new here, I do weekly and monthly forecast videos just like this one. So if you want to stay updated on the weather, please hit that subscribe button down below with bell notifications turned on because here at Wind's Weather, we make weather forecasting fun and informative. If you haven't x page or facebook page i do daily forecasts on there so make sure you go like follow those pages as well so again make sure you like comment and subscribe and until next time never stop forecasting